Hello everyone. Today we are going to study types of CSS. In previous lecture, we have studied about what is CSS, CSS syntax, CSS properties, and their corresponding values. In this session, we are going to study types of CSS. There are three types of CSS: inline CSS, internal CSS, and external CSS. External CSS we will see in the next lecture. First, we will complete with the first two. That is inline CSS and the internal CSS. Let's start with the first one. That is inline CSS. Inline CSS is also known as inline style sheet. First point is used to apply CSS property to individual tag, or you can say element on the web page. It means in the web page, suppose you are applying CSS property for the single tag. That time you have to use inline CSS. Second point is. Used style property as an attribute of any tag means for whichever tag you are applying inline CSS, then you have to use style attribute along with that particular tag. Third point, it affects only element for which style is defined. It means with whichever tag you are using style attribute and you are defining CSS properties, that tag is going to be affected, not the other one. Let's see the example of inline CSS. I have already typed the example in Notepad. Starting with the doc type HTML, it indicates that this is HTML document, then HTML tag, head tag, then title tag. In title, we have given the title as use of inline CSS, and then title tag is closed. Then head tag is closed. After head tag is closed. We are using body tag along with two attributes: BG color orange and text is blue. It means text color is blue and orange background color is there. Then in body section we have used two paragraph tag. First tag is with inline CSS and second paragraph tag is without inline CSS. You can see we have written the sentence within this paragraph, second paragraph that is paragraph without using inline CSS. As you can see here, we have not applied. Single CSS property here. At the end, body tag is closed and HTML closed. Now look this first paragraph tag. Here, paragraph tag is used. After that, single space is given and style attribute is used. Between tag and attribute, we have to give single space. After style attribute, you have to use double quote. All the CSS property you have to write down this. In this double quotes, after style attribute, you have to use is equal to sign and then double quotes. Here we are using three CSS property. First one is font style, second one is text decoration, and third one is letter spacing. We have given here italic font style, underline text decoration, and letter spacing is five points. As you can see here, this font style, this CSS property is made up of two words: font style. So you have to Join these two words by using hyphen. But whenever two different words are there in CSS property, you have to use hyphen. Then your CSS property and its corresponding value is separated by colon. CSS property and its corresponding value together it forms one declaration and one declaration and another declaration is separated by using semicolon. You don't have to give any space in between this. Double quotes. Now we have saved this file with the name inline CSS dot HTML. Now we will open the output of this particular code. We need browser, so we are opening the output of this particular code in Google Chrome. Now you can see here code as well as output. The first paragraph using inline CSS. And the second paragraph is without using inline CSS. In the first paragraph, the CSS properties are applied. That is italic. Text decoration is underline. You can see underline effect, and you can see the letters missing. That is the gap between each consecutive letter is five points. And for the second sentence, means second paragraph, no CSS property is applied. Just the text color is blue. So that we have mentioned in the body section. Can see the difference. Now, let's see one more example for the inline CSS. 
See this question. Write HTML code to display a text mobile world having font size 24, background color aqua, overline effect by using inline CSS. Means by using inline CSS, you have to display one text mobile world with three CSS property. Font size 24, background color for the text that is aqua and overline effect. Let's see the code of this particular question. We have written this code in notepad starting with doc type html, html tag, head tag, title. Title we have given as example 1. Head tag is closed. Then body we are using with two different attributes bg color pink and text color red. Means background color pink and text color will be red. In that we are using one paragraph tag. At the end body close and html tag is closed. Then in paragraph tag we are writing the text mobile world. And for the mobile world we are applying three CSS property as mentioned in this question. Font size 24, background color aqua and text decoration overline. Again I am repeating all these CSS property and their corresponding values you have to write down in double quotes. CSS property and its value is separated by colon. And one declaration is separated with another declaration by using semicolon. Now we have saved this file with the name mobileworld.html. Now we will see the output of this particular code mobile world. See, file name is mobileworld.html. Then title is example 1. Then you can see pink background color. You can see red text color. You can see the text mobile world with overline effect with font size 24 and background color behind the text is aqua. So here we are done with inline CSS. Now we will start with the next one that is internal CSS. Internal CSS is also known as embedded style sheet. First point. This is used to apply CSS property on single web page means whenever we have to apply CSS property for the single web page, we are going to use internal CSS. In internal CSS, style tag is used to set style properties for tag. Means for particular tag, suppose we are defining any CSS property, we have to define all the CSS property in style tag. Now, style tag is always written in head section. Means within head section, you are going to write down style tag. Style tag is paired tag, means compulsory you need to close it. And the last point, if any changes are to be made in the occurrence of the elements of the web page, then we just need to make changes in style tag. It means, suppose we need to change occurrence of particular tag, then we have to make changes only in the style tag. Let's see the example of internal CSS. See, this one is the example starting with doc type HTML, then HTML tag, head tag, then title. Title we have given here use of internal CSS. Then style tag is used after title close. We have to use style tag and style tag is always written within head section. So after writing style tag and style tag close, we need to close head tag. After head close, we will start with body tag with single attribute that is bg color red means background color red. In body section, we have used here two tags that is h1 and p. In h1, we have written the sentence internal style sheet is applied on this heading and h1 tag is closed and in the p tag, we have written the sentence this paragraph will not be affected by internal style sheet and paragraph tag is closed. Now you can see here in style tag, we have used only one selector h1. Look here, here h1 is with angular brackets. So here it is known as tag, but here it is known as selector. After that, we are using curly braces. In internal CSS, you have to use curly braces. Then here we are using three CSS properties. First one is color, second one text align, and third one is border. Color we have mentioned here, white text color. Then text alignment is center and Border style is dotted. Again, I am repeating CSS property and its value is separated with colon 
and one declaration is separated with another declaration by using semicolon. You can see here we have mentioned CSS property only for H1 selector. It means only for the H1 tag, not for the P tag. It means all the CSS properties are applied for this H1. Means you can see the effect only for this H1 sentence, not for this paragraph sentence. See the output of this particular code. Save this file with the name internal CSS.html. To see the output, we are using using google chrome browser you can see the text internal style sheet is applied on this heading and this paragraph will not be affected by internal style sheet for this paragraph tag we have not applied any css property that's why this is just a plain text plain sentence without any css property you can see the first sentence that we have written in h1 tag here the text color is white then dotted border is there and center alignment is there you can see text alignment is center white color and dotted border now let's see one more example for internal css see this question write html code to display a text information technology having font lucida handwriting text color red apply border to the text using internal css it means you have to display text information technology with three css properties you see the handwriting font should be there red text color should be there and border should be there by using internal css now see the coding of this particular question see Starting with doc type HTML, then HTML tag, head tag, then title tag. In title tag, we have written title name as use of internal CSS. Then after title close, we are using style tag. Style tag should always written in head section. So we are writing style tag here and style closed. It is pair tag, so we need to close it. Then head tag is closed. After head close, we are using body tag with BG color, means background color pink and we have written information technology text between this paragraph tag p tag at the end body tag is closed and html tag is closed now you can see for this paragraph tag we are applying css properties here in style section here it is tag and here it is selector so don't use it with angular brackets after p tag use curly braces then we are using three css property font family color and border font family we are given here lucida handwriting you can see font family is css property so it is joined by hyphen sign because two words are there font and family after that lucida handwriting this word is consist of again two words that is lucida handwriting so you have to write down lucida handwriting in double quotes because single space is there then css property and its value is separated by colon and one declaration and another declaration is separated by semicolon now we have saved this file with the name example2.html now we will see the output of this particular code you can see the text information technology on the browser you can see pink background color you can see for the information technology the font is lucida handwriting text color is red and you can see double border is there around the text here we have given red text color by using css property we have not used text attribute along with the body tag so this is done with inline css and internal css Again, I am repeating inline CSS is for single tag and internal CSS is for single web page. In inline CSS, style attribute is used along with the particular tag and in internal CSS, style tag is used in head section. So, we are done with today's session. Thank you so much.